Hey guys, this video let's build the easiest iron farm for 1.19 Minecraft Bedrock Edition. <laughs> these are all the items you're gonna need to build the farm. You'll need 20 of these beds. You can build this farm anywhere you want, just make sure that you build it at least 80 blocks away from every other village, iron farm or villager breeder. As the first step, what you want to do is to dig out 5 blocks in a row like this. Then once you have done this, you want to add 1, 2, 3, 4 to this side and then you want to dig the rest out as well. So after doing this, you should have an empty 5x5 five five area looking something like this, collect all the items and then what you want to do is to repeat the same thing but with 11 more layers. So this will be the first layer, then the second and so on and so forth. Now after finishing this step you should now have a hole that has the size 5 by 5 by 12. And the next step that you want to do is to come to the middle block like this and then you want to place 5 temporal blocks right here, then 5 more right there and you want to turn around and do the same thing at the other side as well, so 5 blocks in a row and then 5 more blocks in front of those before. As the next step you want to place 1 two, three, four, five beds on top of these temple blocks, then take out some more beds and you want to place five at the other side as well. Then after doing this you want to destroy these five blocks that are below you and as the next step you want to destroy the temporal blocks you placed to place the beds on top. So you want to do this at this side and at the other side as well and if you want you can collect those blocks again to use them later. Then of course you want to get all the beds you have in your inventory and once you have done this you want to place them below the beds you already placed and of course you want to do this at the other side as well so let's take out those beds and place them right here as well. Now you should have 20 beds that you placed and those 20 beds will be used to have 20 villagers in this artificial village. But as the next step, what you want to do is to fill in this little row with 5 blocks and then stack 2 more layers on top like this. And if you have done this, now you should be at the layer with the beds. And you want to place one full layer, so 5x5, five five, out of solid blocks. Before we start with the next step, which is getting all the villagers in the farm, I recommend placing some water in the corner right here so the villagers won't get any damage. Also, if you want to support me as well, then please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. This would literally mean the word to me. Thanks. Now, if you have the water, I want you to stack yourself out of this hole. Next, you want to take yourself at least two villagers from a nearby village or nearby villager breeder. You can do this by using some boats and leads as I did. As you can see, I can pull them and do whatever I want. Or if you want, you can do this with a minecart trail as well. Now you want to push or pull both of them into the hole and you want to make sure that they're at the bottom. Then take off your leads and then of course destroy the stack of blocks you placed to get out because we want to have this hole very very clean. Then you can destroy the boats and after doing this collect your water back again. At this point the villagers should already be connected to their beds and they should have created a proper village. But now as the next step we want to give them some jobs. In order to do this you want to destroy this layer of blocks. So you want to destroy 5 blocks here and then clean out 5 more blocks at this side and do the same thing at this and of course this other side as well. So you cleared out 5 blocks at each side. Now 5 times 4 is 20 so we can place all our 20 fletching tables or anything else that is a workstation for villagers in those 20 blocks and everything should be fine. Why 20? Because we'll breed those two villagers to our 20. In order to do this I recommend getting yourself some bread or if you want to you can take carrots as well. You want to throw them to the villagers, they will share them and sooner or later as you can see you'll see these hard particles and they start breeding and then you just have to wait until you have 20 adult villagers in your farm. Now when all your villagers are grown up, then you want to check whether you have some of these green nitwits in your farm. If you have them, then you want to get rid of them and you want to wait until they are replaced 
by other villagers. This is very important because otherwise the farm will have very very bad rates. The villagers are already starting to replace them. When everything is fine you want to place a torch in the middle of your 5x5 five five area. You want to stack up by 3. Then you want to make sure that you destroy the two blocks below this one. So 1 and 2. And now you just want to complete a 5x5 five five platform at this height. If you're done doing this, what you want to do as the next step is to dig out this block right here. Then you want to dig out some blocks into this direction as well. This should be looking something like this. So you destroyed this block and then a 2x2x3 two by two by area right there at these three heights looking something like this. Then as the next step is to go into this small room there you want to place a double chest right there you want to come behind this double chest and you want to place a hopper that links to the double chest behind like this then come back into the room right here you want to place three letters right there and then just dig up blocks and start placing letters at the side so that you have an easy access to the surface like this now you want to drop back down into the storage room then, as you can see, there is already an iron golem spawning. On top of the hopper, you want to place a glass pane. Then, behind this glass pane, you want to place a glass block on top of this double chest. Then, place a solid block on top. Then, you want to place two buttons located at these two positions. In between, so above the glass pane, you can place yourself some lava. This will kill all the cats and iron golems for us. And now in the opposite corner, so right here, you want to place the water and this is what activates our whole farm. All the iron golems and cats that spawn up here will flow through the water into the lava and will get killed right there. Now the last step is of course to get out of this hole. What you want to do in order to do this is to place a block at a random position, then stack up by one, destroy the block below and repeat the whole process. So place a block, destroy the block below, block destroy the block below another block and you want to do this until you are at the surface here we are destroy the final block and then your farm is finished and you can start getting all your loot that is in this double chest right here as you can see there's already some iron and the few blocks that we destroyed if you want to you can afk right here this is the afk spot you can do this as long as you want so the longer you wait the more iron you'll get I hope that I helped you with this tutorial and you can get a lot of iron using this farm. If you have some questions, then please ask them in the comment section or join my Discord server to contact me. Thanks for oink oink for this crazy design. Please subscribe to him and to me and then I hope we see us again in the next video. See ya!